shrewd manager Christianity's position. The nail wounds on the shroud fit the Gospels, but also transcend them to fit medical science, contrary to traditional depictions. I've already presented over a dozen examples of how the shroud image matches Jesus of the Gospels. In this video, however, I present an apparent discrepancy. The shroud clearly shows an exit wound in the man's wrist, but John's Gospel disagrees. John chapter 20, verses 20 through 27, repeatedly say Jesus was nailed through the hand, not wrist. Which is it? Hand or wrist? Does the exit wound prove the image can't be Jesus? The differences seem irreconcilable because each position has potent advocates. Art history and linguistics side with the gospel or hand position. BibleHub.com has 46 translations of John 20:27, 20, from the original Greek to English. All 46 write that the nail went through Jesus' hand, not wrist. Artistic convention agrees with the translators. Look at these portraits. They all show the nail through Jesus' palm, not wrist. So translators and artists almost all line up against the shroud. However, anatomy sides with the shroud or wrist position. 20th century French surgeon Pierre Barbet's work in a teaching hospital gave him access to many cadavers. Let's look at what his experiments reveal. First, a nail through the palm would not hold the weight of an adult man. The flesh tears. He also discovered that Destot's place is a natural channel where nails easily pass through soft anterior parts of the wrist. Professional executioners could literally nail through the path of least resistance. Likely an important consideration when crucifying so many victims. Second, look at the shroud man's hands again. Notice anything unusual. The man has no thumbs. Significantly, Barbet's experiments solved the mystery of the invisible thumbs. When Barbet nailed through Desto's space in freshly amputated limbs, the nail invariably injured the median nerve, which pulled the thumb toward the palm. Pretty compelling evidence that the shroud is anatomically accurate. We're back to the question. Does the wrist exit wound prove the shroud image can't be Jesus? Two proposals resolve this apparent discrepancy. First, here is an autopsy photo. As you can see, a rod in the woman's palm exits her wrist. In the shroud image, we only see the exit wound, so the entrance wound could be in the palm. The discrepancy is resolved. It's not the hand or wrist, it is the hand and wrist. In the hand, out the wrist. However, I favor the second proposal, which says that the translators are wrong to use the word hand. It's true that the Greek word cher is translated hand three times in John chapter 20, verses 20 through 27. But cher is also translated in other verses as wrist or even finger by the same translators. Let me show you using the new international version. The NIV is one of the most popular English translations of the Bible, with over 450 million sold. For this discussion, the Greek text comes from BibleHub.com. John 20, 27 says Thomas put his finger in Jesus' hair. NIV writes Thomas put his finger in Jesus' hand. In Luke 15:22. The prodigal son has a ring put on his hair. Because the Greek word for ring here is dactylion, or finger ring, the NIV translators write that the prodigal son has a ring put on his finger. In Acts 12, verses 6 and 7, Peter is bound by chains which miraculously fall off his hair. NIV writes that the chains fall off his wrists. So the same Greek root word is written variously hand, wrist, and finger by the same translators. So we have two explanations which reconcile the shroud and the gospels. Anatomy firmly sides with the nail entering and exiting the wrist. 
Unlike the first proposal, the in-the-palm-out-the-wrist theory, Barbet's work is the result of repeated experiments. And also unlike the in-the-palm-out-the-wrist theory, Barbet's work was peer-reviewed. For a detailed comparison of the merits of these two proposals, see this web page. Shrewd manager Christianity's position is that the Shroud is right in showing that Jesus was nailed to the cross through his wrists, and centuries of art and nearly four dozen translations are wrong. For all their worldwide impact, the Gospels are brief, with many gaps like this one. They don't tell us precisely how Jesus was nailed to the cross. When faced with these gaps, time and again we find that the Shroud coherently supplements the Gospel accounts. This time it goes much further. The Shroud stakes out medically preferred, experimentally verified territory, territory that runs counter to long-standing tradition. Next, we move from the image to the cloth itself. 